हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मुयशी फ्रॉम टी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर 9 जनरेशन ऑफ पीडब्ल्यूएम वेव फॉर्म यूजिंग आईसी ट्रिपल 5 इन एलटी स्पाई सॉफ्टवेयर सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज आईसी ट्रिपल 5 सो दिस इज अ 8 पिन डीआईपी ऑफ आईसी ट्रिपल 5 सो एज यू कैन सी देयर आर 8 पिन इन आईसी ट्रिपल 5 सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ईच working of each pin using the functional diagram so this is the functional diagram of ic triple 5 here the pin number 1 is ground pin which must be connected to the ground pin number 2 is trigger pin which is used to provide trigger trigger pulses to the ic triple 5 when it is in mono stable mode pin number 3 is output pin output of timer is available on this pin there are two ways to connect load between output terminal one way is connect load between output and ground pin so it is called normally on load and another way is connect load between supply and ground pin so which is called normally off load so pin number 4 is reset pin this pin is used to reset ic triple 5 and this pin must be connected to positive vcc to avoid the false triggering pin number 5 is control voltage this pin is used to control the trigger and threshold levels so the pulse width of output waveform can be determined by connecting port or external supply to this pin pin number 6 is threshold pin amplitude of voltage applied to this terminal is responsible for the state of flip flop so as you can see here sr flip flop is used pin number 7 is discharge pin it is called discharge terminal because when transistor is at saturation level capacitor discharge through this transistor so therefore this pin is called discharge pin and pin number 8 is positive which is a supply so to this pin we can apply plus 5, plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt with respect to ground so this is the working of each pin now this ic triple 5 is used in four various modes first is a stable mode second is mono stable third is bi stable and fourth is smith trigger mode so in this experiment we will see the mono stable mode of ic triple 5 so as you can see this is a diagram and this is the output waveform of mono stable multiplicator so as you can see here uh, trigger pulse is applied and depending on the rc combination charging and discharging time of capacitor and according to that we will get our pulse and we can determine the width also so now let us see our simulation part so i am opening my lt spy software for schematic we have to go into new schematic so now we will save our file pwm using triple 5 so pwm triple 5 so for ic triple 5 we will go in component symbol and type ne triple 5 so this is my ic triple 5 now we will connect all the components which are required 
in monostable mode so now first we will connect ground pin to the ground terminal so here i'm connecting ground this trigger will be our sub triggering pulse input which will be in the form of pulses so we will connect one source source voltage here now we will connect output and reset to the vcc by using label so output will be v out which is the final output of our circuit and reset will be connect must be connected to vcc to avoid the false triggering so that's why i'm connecting it to vcc this is my vcc pin so there will be supply so for that you i'm using a label vcc we will provide supply separately that's why i'm using label now i will connect discharge and threshold pin which must be connected to r and c component so now i will place one resistor and one capacitor and so there one end will go to vcc and another end will go to ground so as you can see i am using wire and connecting the terminals now i will label it vcc and here i will connect ground and this discharge and threshold will be not shorted so this way now here control voltage will connect one supply voltage which is our sine wave here we are doing modulation so that's why it will our modulating signal so voltage source i will connect to here and second terminal will be grounded so this way ground now we want this vcc supply so for that also i am taking one voltage source and vcc labeling at labeling it at this is another will be at ground so ground and this is it so here this ground is remaining so let me connect it first then we will put the values so this way my connection is done now we will enter the values so this supply will be this is our triggering pulse so for that we have to select pulse we have to write the initial period which will be i'm keeping at 5 on period will be 0 the level be 0.05 millisecond rise time will be 0 t false time will also 0 i'm keeping for now 
on period will be 0 0.01 millisecond and whole cycle period is 1 millisecond and end cycle is 500 so now okay so as you can see these are my pulse parameters for triggering pulse this waveform uh, this source will be sine wave so this offset I'm keeping at 3 volt amplitude I'm taking 1.5 volt frequency 40 hertz okay this capacitor value is I'm taking for now 0 0.1 microfarad and this register I'm taking 100k or 10k and this our supply voltage is 5 volt which can be between 5 to 18 our schematic is ready but for better understand I am writing label modulating signal so we can easily find out which waveform from where we are getting so trigger pulse from here this supply output is already here now voltage across capacitor capacitor is T1 so here I am placing this so at this four points we have to take our output so now I am going to edit simulation command transient 40 millisecond okay now I will save and run so now first we will see our input signal so which is this is in the form of pulses trigger pulse so now I will add plot with another plane so in this we are going to see voltage across capacitor so this is my voltage across capacitor this is my modulating signal and we will now another add plot which is our output signal So now as you can see this is this green one is our modulating signal this red one is our modulating signal this green is our trigger pulses this is a voltage across capacitor and this is our final output of triple five which is in the form of pulses so as you can see whenever whenever the trigger pulse is on capacitor is charging and whenever it discharging then width of the pulse is changing so as you can see width is varying so this way my experiment is completed thank you